Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare. Um, dewy, glowy skin is kind of my thing. Lighter makeup is kind of my thing. Um, you know, I like to emphasize like skin. I like, you know, my face to look radiant, healthy, and that's kind of like my aesthetic. So obviously you've read the title, but I'm just, I'm working my way up to explaining this to you guys. When I saw that Jennifer Lopez was gonna come out with like a line and like I, when I first saw it, I didn't know if it was gonna be makeup, if it was gonna be skincare. And then when I saw it was skincare, I was like, oh man, you know, like kind of want her to do makeup. Something with her glow, right? Because her glow is what she's known for. Well, when I saw that she was doing highlighters, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And like, so ecstatic. January 1st came, I put my order in so fast. I got two of the Star Filter Complexion Booster. So I got the shade Rich Bronze and I got the shade Pink Champagne. Packaging, it's, these do retail for $39 each which is a little, it's a little pricey, but we're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see if it, if it works, okay? Um, yeah, okay, so you know what we're just gonna do? I am gonna cut into swatches, but first. All right, so I'm gonna swatch these two JLo Beauty That Star Filter Complexion Booster. Let's start off with the uh, rich, rich bronze. This definitely has somewhat of like a whipped texture. Like you see that? But if you start to kind of like bounce it, it does have like a whipped texture. It does feel like kind of watery, okay? And it does blend out. This is the shade. Now, I was having a hard time blending this out on my face. I don't know why. Like if you do one layer, it looks great. Okay. Um, now on my face, it doesn't show up that much because you know you blend it out or whatever. But when I do a second layer, let's see if it does it here too. It almost like it almost gets like stuck on itself. It clings to itself, or like if you have foundation on, it clings to it. Of course, you're not seeing it now, but I don't know. I was having a hard time like blending it out. Oh, okay. Wait, like. Can you see here how it's like getting stuck in between like my um, the skin there? Like that's what will happen on your face. And I don't know if it's just this shade. And if you can't see it, I'm sorry. But when I put it on my face, you're going to see what I'm talking about. But it's like it clings to certain areas. Um, and now this is pink champagne. This one's pretty. This one blended out so much easier. I don't know. It could be because I ended up using like less of it and I'm using it as like a highlighter, but to use all over my face, for whatever reason, the rich bronze just, I don't know, it just didn't sit right for some reason, but those are the shades. And I'll go swatch it for you in natural sunlight too. So I'm just at the window so you guys could see. So this is the rich bronze and then this is the pink champagne. But you see how like the rich bronze, like as I did a second layer, like here in between where like that line is, like it's just hard to blend or add layers to itself. So that's that's my issue with it. And then this is the pink champagne, which I don't know, it just lays on nicer. Okay. All right, so we have rich bronze. It comes in a pump and I'm not gonna put it all over my face because my idea with this is to highlight and kind of contour. I do have foundation on already, very light, very light foundation. So let's get the rich bronze. I'll show you here, I'll swatch it here, but then I'll also swatch it up close, as I mentioned. This is what rich bronze looks like. And this is it swatched. That's it swatched. The texture of this, it's almost, it's almost whipped, but when you kind of go back and forth and you blend it, it almost moves like water. You know what I mean? All right, so let's start off with the bronze and see what happens. 
All right, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use my hands, if I want to use a brush. Let me start off with the brush, because this is actually, this has a lot of pigment there. Yeah, it's definitely whipped. See, like when I go like that, you see how it kind of, that little blob there is whipped. So I'm taking it, I'm like priming my brush. Again, this is rich bronze. This is like the deepest shade, but they are supposed to be universal. So they'll work across like, you know, with different skin tones and everything. As far as rich bronze goes, if you are rich, like deep skin tone, this will probably be a good highlighter for you. If you are my skin tone or more fair, this is gonna be probably a good bronzer for you. There is color definitely there, it's developing. I am using a stippling brush just because I want a lighter application. And now I'm gonna go on my forehead. I saw somebody saying that when they put this on, like it set like quick and it wasn't really transferring. So I can tell you that it, it does sort of dry a little bit quick. Like what I've put here, like unless I really smear it down, it's not budging. So that's what the brush, I'm curious because I, I usually, I usually work with my hands more than anything. And I'm surprised I went with a brush first because I was just, I don't know. Let's try with my hands. I'm more comfortable working with my hands anyways. All right, let me. Is I supposed to shake it? I don't know. I don't like the way it's blending on my face. Look at that. What is that? That's odd. That looks muddy. Oh, that looks muddy. And like, I don't, that looks really muddy. Let me take you guys um, to the sunlight so you can see what I'm talking about. Hang on a second. So this is, I blended it out with uh, a brush and then I went over with my hand, but I don't, I don't like the way it's applying. Maybe it's not supposed to be applied over a foundation. I don't know. Let's try the highlighter. Let's try the highlighter. Okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about this, uh, this bronzer. weird the pigments that's funny on my face I don't know let's try the pink the pink champagne maybe that'll be better that looks really pretty oh, let me you know what let me take this off because I can't stand the way the bronzer looks on my face uh, I'm not feeling it so let me stop and I'll be right back we're gonna try something different we are going to I'm just putting moisturizer on. I'm not gonna put foundation. I'm gonna put the bronze back on top of the moisturizer. Maybe, oops, wrong one. Maybe the bronze doesn't work with what I have on underneath. Now, I have to see if this is water-based. I'll make a notation here if it is water-based. I had an oil and like a cream foundation on top. So sometimes when you have oil and you throw something with a lot of like, you know, oil and water don't mix. Sometimes that's kind of what causes separation. So I took that off. I'm going to try this again. And apply. Okay. Now on bare skin, it definitely applies way better. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe the formulas that I was working with just we're not agreeing with each other which makes total sense you can't put like a water-based product directly over like something that has an oil and i had put the danessa myricks beauty oil on top as like a highlighter because i was filming before so let's see okay now i'm layering on a second layer 
it's sheer. I mean, there is somewhat of a glow. Let's go back into the light. Hang on. So I'm back in natural light. There is a glow. It's, it's pretty, it's subtle. Um, I'm formulating my opinion. Let's go back to the studio. All right, so there's definitely a glow. Like you could see there's, you know, there's some color there. Um, let's try the pink champagne on the top. Type, blah, 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 blah. Let's try the pink champagne on the high points of the face. I don't know what it is. Okay. The bronze one, for whatever reason, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys up close. Look at this. You see those like little things? It's almost like, it's almost like the pigment separates because it's still sitting muddy. I don't, okay, I don't like the rich bronze. I'm sorry, I have to say it. I don't like it as a bronzer and for whatever reason it is not sitting nice on my skin. I put the pink champagne on and that sits better. So once again, I'm gonna take this down and redo it. I'll be right back. This is, this is an honest opinion, honest review. Please don't come for me. <laughs> Hang on. All right, let me, I, I put my foundation on again. I put my skin, I took it off. I don't like the way this rich bronze is like blending out. Maybe it's the wrong color and that's why it looks muddy on me. Maybe I should have gotten the other one, but as a bronzer, I'm not really feeling it. Let's try the highlighter. And yeah, let's just try the highlighter and see if that works better. It's the highlight. The highlight has a very beautiful, like, see that? Like, it does have, like, that icy pink to it, but it's, it's pretty. It's very pretty. Let's try this. That's pretty. That I like. That I can do. Okay. I'm going to take you back into sunlight so you could see this and it's dewy goodness dewy yeah dewiness all right let's go back to the sun so here it is in sunlight you do get that like glow like this is this is that glow glow that I like all right let's go back Okay, so for sure, the pink champagne is a winner. Like, that's, that's pretty. I like the way it looked in the sun. I like the way, I mean, I know my, my lights are a little bit bright. But I do like the way, like, you see how it catches the light? Like, it's beautiful. Um, you know what you're asking yourself? Is it worth $39? If the price point is scaring you totally understand i definitely think there's dupes out there i will make a dupe video for you i will that's for sure i'm gonna make a dupe video um i'm kind of annoyed that i can't make this like i wanted to make this work and it's just not working let me try one more thing it's like it's that rich bronze again let me try with a fluffy brush instead of a stippling brush maybe that kind of helps i'm gonna prime the brush again Let's see if you have no idea. It's like, you know, when you, you're like, there's a product that's been like so hyped up and then you finally get it and you're like, uh, what? <laughs> what do you guys think? All right, I have it on half of my face. I want your honest opinion. Like, does it look bronzy and glowy i mean i guess it does it definitely applied a lot better with this brush but i still i still feel like like here it like it almost separates i 
All right, this is my initial first impressions of it. I think I'm gonna have to do a take two on it. I'll wear it for a couple, like, try to play around with it. The thing is, like, I'm, I was excited to get this product and kind of just get it out, get my opinion on it. Um, at the moment, here's what I can tell you. It's a beautiful highlighter. I think as a highlighter, the rich bronze is gonna look amazing and the color is very rich. Like if you are rich, like tan, like dark tan to a rich deep skin tone, it's gonna look beautiful on you. The pink champagne, I like the way it looks. It's pricey. Um, so it's one of those things where it's like, I, again, I will make a dupe video cause I'm sure I can dupe it with what I have here in my stash. Um, so if you want it, if you want the J.Lo glow because it's J.Lo and you want to support her, go for it. It's pretty. I, I will probably keep the pink champagne. I do like I do like the way it looks. Um, I'm not going to keep this as a bronzer. It's not working for me as a bronzer. Maybe the color is off. Um, I don't think I don't think you need to spend thirty nine dollars on this if you want to use it as a bronzer. I think you can find something better at the drugstore. Um, it's not what I was expecting it to be. I don't know. I thought it was going to be, that was going to be different, you know? Yeah, because it, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sold on it as a bronzer. The highlighting shade I do like. How can I put this? I do like it. I do like the highlighting shade. I mainly bought it to review it. Now, if you told me you can have this or you can have a different one as a highlighter and it's, you know, a little more affordable, I'd probably go with the affordable one. That's just me being 100% honest with you. Uh, I may do a take two on this just to kind of play around with it and see if my opinion changes or I can figure out a different way to use it. But as a bronzer, I don't like it. No me gusta. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think I can achieve a more bronzy look with drugstore. So that's my opinion on it. I stand by it, but again, I will do a take two. I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, yeah, please leave a comment down below. Questions, comments, anything you have, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.